All right, Shalom. More subliminal messaging from Esau, from the so-called white man, Esau. All right, check this out. So yeah, call alum like Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, with Yahweh Kakudash. As you see, more subliminal messaging on a high level, you know, more witchcraft on a high level, you know, on a more apparent level, I should say, from the so-called white man, by the so-called white man, Esau. All right, these are the wishes and desire desires of the elite bankers, the so-called white people who rule the, uh, the earth, the global elite, all right, which is seen in this Domino's commercial, and this subliminal message in this, the desire they have to chip people, chip, track, and ultimately have people pretty much, you know, tagged like cattle, you know, uh, as, as, as property, their property, as if they were cattle, you know, to, to, as a sense of ownership, you know, to have, have a sense of ownership in the sight of the creator, all right, and they, primarily want this to be fulfilled through tipping so-called Black Latinos and Native American Indians because you're the Hebrew Israelites. You're the Hebrew Israelites. All right? So I got a more, there's an, um, a fuller version of this commercial right here, which is a, a two, basically a three-minute uh, clip of it version of it and it's called you know the Domino's mind ordering commercial all right so let's hit play on this I want you to clear your mind focus on the object in front of you use only your mind use your power. Place the order now. Send the next one. For that, it must be the faulty breaker again. Yeah, it's the faulty breaker. It's weird. I got a new ticket for a pizza. Is that weird, Paul? Look around, we're in a Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear a print. The phone didn't ring. You didn't put it in. It's just like... Weird. Weird. <laughs> well, have a nice day. 
nice night. He's a dusty bum. <laughs> Woo! Celebrity. What if somebody ordered a pizza with their mind? No way. Think about it. An order mysteriously appears moments after the power goes out and the lights start flickering. You know what that means. It means they have a faulty breaker and you have an overactive imagination. Let's think about all the possibilities. Ordering a pizza with your mind? So yeah, so this is completely uh, it's a complete form of witchcraft, and this makes me think of the uh, scripture where it says uh, in Psalms the sixty fourth chapter how they encourage themselves in an evil matter they commune of laying snares privily they say who shall see them right that's why I said they really want to have this fulfilled the desire of theirs by having you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians get it, these global elite, Esau, right? This is his desire, which takes me to that scripture now. This is uh, Psalms in the 10th chapter, and I'm going to read verse, uh, I'm going to start at uh, straight to the point. This is verse 2, the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor, right? So the wicked target the poor. It's always about it's always about targeting. And the wicked is who running the earth right now, according to Job nine and twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So I, with them with them having everything, which translates to the global elite, and with them so with them having everything, they just still have a focus. They still have an agenda. They still have a, a people of interest. All, all the while with them having every, everything, you know, despite them having everything, their focus, the wicked, these global elite, these so-called white people, these Jewish bankers, fam, Jewish, so-called, these Jewish banking families, they have their eyes set on the poor, the poor being you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians for their number one agenda. And it's really to get rid of you, to eradicate you. You know, they want to try to get the birthright back, all these different things, you know, to stop you from ending their world and ruling over them. That's what this is all about. That's what the birth rate come down to. So if they figure if they can destroy you, destroy us, that's how they'll do it. Do it. If they can get the Heavenly Father to not want us anymore, in a sense, that's what they'll do. You know, so they go in the distance, but it's not going to work, you know. And the, and the way they're trying to do that is by getting you chipped. But before I get into that, this is verse 2. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. You know, they was talking about the word imagination in this. Because most of the things, well, this is just conspiracy theory. So why make a video, a commercial like this? To have people think of this. Verse 3, the wicked, just the point, boasted of his heart's desire. Everything you could put out and push and flaunt around, you make, is, 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 is your heart's desire. You know? And everything... So it's that simple. When people push out, flaunt around, that's their heart desire. So out of everything you could flaunt, push out, and et cetera, the so-called white man who's responsible for these commercials that come out, which go back to the elites, the Jewish the Jewish people, because they're first of all, they're the people who run the earth, and we know they're behind it behind these things that come out because they have to give leeway to it. They own all the TV networks, they run Hollywood. That was a Hollywood set. That commercial was made on a Hollywood set. And what and all the things that's pushed out to the earth, which is through these uh, uh, commercials and movies, which is pretty much the teaching of the people on the earth, is 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 all okay and ordained by the people that's running everything. So these are the things they want people to know be abreast of, they show you these things in these uh, Super Bowl commercials, stuff like that, subliminal messaging. The Esau's left-hand prophecies, right? Because he think he's the most high. The most high, he prophesies. He says something's going to happen, and he brings it to pass. That's how the devil gets there, right? So once again, out of everything they can flaunt and boast, right? Why flaunt and boast these things? Because these 
Because whatever you find boast, according to scriptures, is your heart desire. So this is their desire. They, they desire to what? Have people ordering pizza with their mind, going into their brain, going into Revelation 13 and 16. No man won't be able to buy or sell, save he that have the mark and the number of his name, which I'm going to pull that up too. All right. And I got a couple more videos on this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit these points. Keep it concise. Lord will. All right. So for those that's fairly new, you know, we just got to keep going over this. We got to drill, drill this in our head. All right. So this is Revelation 13. See, it's all about worshiping. Right. And they worship. Verse 4, they worship, you know, the beast, all these different things. Wait till my computer uh, load back up. All right. So here we go. This is verse. Uh, we're going to start at 16. And it reads, where are we at? There you go. And he calls it all. Revelation 13 and 16. Through 17. What we're going to read. And he calls it all. This is what's going to happen. And he, being the so-called white man, all right, calls it all through these elite banking families. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. See that? You ain't going to be able to. He couldn't order that pizza if he didn't do it with his with uh in in the way which he was he was told he had to do it. See that? And that that's that's the subliminal messaging for the 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 people not being able to acquire or purchase things or sell things without the way that they're going to prescribe that's going to uh that they're going to prescribe according to this in the future which is through having that grain of rice man that mark beasley all right it says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his, of his name so that's their desire that's what they want to do they want to cause all people to be uh, uh, chip, not be able to buy or sell except they uh, get this this RFID chip, you know, implanted in their head, going into the mind, the brain, which is what the mind is representing, the mind ordering, getting implanted in your forehead in order to buy or sell. Yeah, buy even some pizza, order some pizza. See that, and or in your foot or in your right hand, and it's that simple. And the, their, their main, the main way they want to fulfill this is by getting the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the Hebrew Israelites, which they know, which they know you to be, in truth, to to uh, uh, to do this. That's why it says the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. And then when you go into Psalms the sixty-fourth chapter, it, it talk about how they commune of land snares privily. But when you go that get that word privily. That word privily meaning exclusively. So it's all, it's, it's they'll, they'll, everyone else is, they, they'll, in order to get us, if they had to, uh, their desire is to get us, but if they had to get everybody that was around us to get to us, they'll take them out too. And that's why it results in, 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 in awe. All right? Privily. So I'm going to just grab that so you can see that I want to get that word. And then you can see that being pushed in the in the in the in the commercial there. See, they shoot at the perfect. The perfect go back to Jacob, right? Psalm sixty four and four. They may that they may shoot at him and seek as, as, at the perfect. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. That's why it's subliminal. When something is subliminal, subliminal. I'm gonna get the word subliminal. Cause this is real. And when you get subliminal messaging from Esau, that's his um, his left hand prophecies. All right, that's him also fulfilling Isaiah the fourteenth chapter, which the Lord, which is where the Lord declared how He says in His heart He will be like the Most High. He's going to ascend above the Most High. 
I'm going to say and it's going to come to pass. I'm not just going to create my own meat. I'm not going to just try to create life. I'm going to also say what's going to happen and it's going to happen. See that? So when something's subliminal, you got it right here. Subliminal. 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 Of a stimulus or mental process, right? So it's to get people going. That's how you know it's witchcraft too, right? Below the threshold of sensation or consciousness, right? So it's subliminal. They presenting it to you. It's like it's like hiding something in plain sight, sight. And since it's not direct, right? It's not piercing your consciousness. It's like something they present it to your subconscious almost. But if you're aware on that level, you got the spirit on you. They're conscious. It's all conscious. But the way they go about it, it's just witchcraft, man. So it's like, uh, uh, what is it? It desensitizes you. So they'll present something they really want to do, but in a less way to where it won't be like, oh, it's really this. It's like uh, uh, euphemisms. If you know what the term euphemism go into. But it says perceived by or affecting someone's mind without their, without their being aware of it. And it's a, in the synonyms of subconscious, see? Unconscious, hidden, concealed. But it's right in your face. How plain can you make it? They ain't got to say mark of the beast. Order the pizza with mark of the beast. But they say order. Uh, 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 order. Uh, they, they, they ain't got to put in the, in the commercial buy this by having this in your forehead. They can literally put a situation to where you buying something, no matter if it's food, no matter if it's pizza, and it's through ordering it with your mind. You have to use your mind to do it. It's that clear. It's a subliminal message for the Revelation 13. So it's, it's that simple. Now what I also want to do now, while I'm on it, all right, this is a uh, subliminal message, subliminal messaging uh, meaning. It says, a subliminal message is a technique used in marketing and others see it's used. You actually see it. It's actually used. It says, used in marketing and other media to influence people without their being aware of what the messenger is doing. See that? It's used. You use it in marketing. That commercial, this commercial is 100% what? Marketing. Pulling it back up. All right. Mind ordering. And it's an app. Okay. And this is on Domino's Pizza account. So a subliminal message is a technique used in marketing and other media to influence people without their being aware of what me the messenger is doing. This may involve the use of split second flashes of text, hidden images, or subtle cues that may uh, that affect the audience at a level below conscious awareness. So they influencing, desensitizing, the influencing people to get this, desensitizing people from the time of when this will be presented and it's completely bugged out. They don't perceive it on that level. It's basically normalized and they go on and do, do it, which will have been uh, aided by, uh, helped by, and it's sure about all the subliminal messaging they was doing before, right? So it's that simple, man. All right? So I'm going to close that out. Now, they want to, once again, completely fulfill this desire that they have, that they're boasting of, right? Which is an enterprise, which takes me here to Job 5. Now I'm going to come back there. Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, right? It took craft to put together, you know, a um, a commercial, right? Which is pretty much an agenda or the plan uh, of the global elite exposed to the masses. No matter how many people seen it, this came out actually um, in May of 2022 this year. All right. And look who's at the forefront of it. You know. Then you go back to the first one because this one was more drawn out. You know. So 
something hooked up to his head and it goes into him, you know, obtaining something. All right. Which takes you back. You your mind. Place the order. Now. Order up for Dustin. I don't have any money. Whoa. What if somebody ordered pizza with their money? Actually, now there is a way to order pizza with your mind. See that? See that? Mind, order, place. So, it took craft to put all that together. All right? But that's the whole point. And that word crafty goes into witchcraft, which I believe is uh, in the book of uh, yeah, Nahum 3 and 4. I'm going to grab that. It's, uh, but it says he disappointed the, the, the devices of the, of the crafty. And you know what? Let me jump there now. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right, you said you've seen it. I'm gonna get the word enterprise, and I'm gonna get that enterprise, a project, project or undertaking, typically one that is difficult or requires effort. Right? When you wanna, when the when the enterprise is shipping the whole world, causing all small, both great and poor, people with power, people with pull, people with connections, people. That have trusted in you, people that got uh, 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 estates in different countries and more than one city. They own businesses, they own uh, franchise restaurants. They, you know, they're they're free. They're 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 murderers and 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 criminals and convicts in prison. They're free. They, you know, they're people who aren't uh, uh, even in a rat race, but they still do the nine to five. Like that's a you know, and you want to chip them all. You want them to cause. You want them to. Only be able to buy, sell, or buy into only be able to buy, buy or sell by receiving this thing. You know, that many people. That's a heavy or difficult enterprise that requires a lot of effort. So they're going to come with, they got to come with things that can help ensure it, you know, which is their commercials of subliminal messaging, which is really uh, uh, showing their craftiness. But once again, which is what really craftiness going into witchcraft, so simply their witchcraft. See, operation, exploit, mission, deed, action, move, measure, task, business, affair, proceeding, scheme, plan, plan of action. These are all synonyms. Program, campaign. See that? Proposal. Prop you know? Business or company. Because a commercial is to sell you on something. But they doing more than selling you on pizza. They selling you on other agendas. They selling these people on other agendas. All right? I'm going to get the word commercial. All right. Let's get the word commercial. Concerned with or get engaged in commerce. And making or intended to make a profit. You know? So it's, it's, to, it's to push something. I have commercial is the synonym to commercial is advertisement, promotion, display, ad, push, plug. It's to push something. It's to push something. When you go into the word push, exhort, force, that goes into what? Revelation 13, where it says what? And he calls it. See? And he calls it. That's another word for force. Right? He calls it all. All right? Exhort force on, on someone or something typically with one's hand in order to move them away from oneself or the origin of the force. Force, yeah, force. So they moving people from the old way of doing things, buying and selling to the new way, which is the new world order. See that? So it's that simple, man. Move one's body or part of it into a specified position, especially forcefully or without effort. Through his witchcraft, cause to reach a particular level of state, right? Being okay with doing this when they come and make it mandatory. Because the technology here already, compel or urge, pushes to compel or urge someone to do something, especially to work hard. So they're trying to compel and urge people to what? 
uh, 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 be okay with the thought of if you had to order food a crazy way, you know, going into the rest of the definition, which it says promote the use, sale, or acceptance of, which is accepting something that's crazy. Like that shouldn't be the way for me to simply buy some food, you know, order some pizza. But that's what they're doing, man. All right. So that go back into what? Enterprise. Which is a project or undertaking typically one that's uh, typically one that is difficult or requires effort. So Esau going hard. He gotta go hard body. All right. He has to. So uh, let me go back. So this is Job five and fourteen again. He did, uh, it's for, for, for five and 12, it says he disappointed the most high, the devices of the craftsmen, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Because as they ironically push this, they tell it on themselves. And everybody that see it going to flee away, which is the main people they don't want to flee away, which is the Israelites. And specifically, they don't want the elect to flee away. But you can't fool the elect. If, it's, if it was possible, they would be able to, because that's how hard he's going, which is yeah, what Yahweh Shah said. So that's that, man. And that goes into, uh, that, 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 that's, that, that's why they got to be crafty to do it. And that word craftiness goes into, obviously, what the commercial was, a show of their craftiness. A crafty going back into what? Witchcraft. This is Nahum 3 and 4. Because, they say, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, See that that sell it the nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. The Lord is against this man. He's gonna he's exposing this man. I I am against thee. Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will shoot the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. So everybody gonna see Esau for who he who he who he is, because that's who's running this 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 place. All right, these elite bankers, governing it, governing it from Europe. All right. So that's pretty. That's pretty much it. And once again, they're targeting Jake for this. All right, they're completely targeting Salaki. They completely targeting Jake for this. So this is um, Joe five and twelve again. So like, yeah, starting at 12, and I'm going to hit this last point. I'm going to hit these other videos. That'll be it. It says, okay, con. Now, when you go back to Psalms 10 to obviously assess this video, you see the hand, you see they completely targeting our people, Right? And another heavy part about this, they named this dude Dusty. Like the name they even picked for this. Well, when you go into the word, um, when you go into the word, uh, that goes into black, so-called black people. If you go into the word Dusky, Dusky means what? It's a euphemistic or a poet. Darkest in color, using you and euphemistic of that word or poetic reference to black or other dark skinned people. So this is the that's why his name was Dusky or Dusty. Right? And I'm sure when you get the word dusty, it's gonna go back to the same thing. See, dirty. Because that goes into uh, uh, pretty much the whole meaning of black. Black mean these things. When you go into the uh, the word dusky, dusty. And the etymology. 
but it's a play it's a play on words even if it doesn't it goes you know dusty you know the chosen man adam all of that but either way it's still a play off dusty and it's still telling on the damn devil telling on himself dust just just want to see just really expose this dude man how the hidden things of esau ser searched out so yeah that's pretty much it all right so i'm gonna hit play on this and you can just see so they named tim dusty to represent all of jake so-called black people including so-called latinos and native american indians as those that they're intended to, they, they, they desire to do this with. They're intended to do this with. You know, play this agenda out on, upon, which is going to fulfill the scriptures. What the Heavenly Father want. Two thirds of the Israelites are going to take it. It's going to show, yeah, the Heavenly Father that they, they worship the so called white man. But it's an enterprise that his, man, his hand's not going to be able to perform. It's not going to do what he wanted it to do. It's not going to keep him in power. It's not going to get us cut off forever it was already written so these global elites they just done and then all these other nations which is seen in this video is proof that they're that he's he's looking to get everybody all right what if somebody ordered pizza with their money whoa what if somebody ordered pizza money Dustin. I don't have any money. See, Dustin. What if somebody ordered pizza with their money? Actually, now there is a way to order pizza with your mind. With the new Domino's Mind Ordering app. So that's basically that, man. All right. So Dusty goes into uh, uh, Dust, Dust, Dustin. I thought he said Dust, du uh, Dusty. You know, I, maybe they did say in the beginning, but either way, it's all a playoff. It makes me think of Dusky. You know, and it's clear even if that wasn't a case, but I believe because the heart of every one of them is deep. I believe that was. You know, to use a name like that, it's still clear they targeting so-called Black, Latino, Native American Indian people because that's who is the lead star at commercial. <laughs> You know, and, and, and it show it sh they show you how stupid our people are because he was saying how dude was in his imagination, you know, it's not real, you know, and that's exactly what Psalm 64 is exposing. It says Psalm 64 about this, this devil, man. Clearly, it says, um, verse four, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. Ain't shooting at everybody. But just like when you trying to, when people get shot, being a cross, it's like crossfire. It wasn't probably because they was being targeted, it's because they was in the area, the facility of the one, the, or vicinity of the one that was being targeted. So they was just a casualty. They became a casualty, and that's all these other people. They're, they're aiming at shoot at our people. These are evil, these are global elite, uh, elitists, man. Global elitists. It says so called. It says. And fear not, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of land snares privily. They say, who shall see them? You get the, you look that word privily, it goes into exactly what? Being exclusive, targeting, right? Privily. When you're privy to something. Because privy, privily is a play off privy, right? Goes back to privy. And what does privy mean? Privy means in on, having look, a person having a part or interest in any action, matter, or thing. So it's, it's, it's specified when you're privy to something. You are in mind. You are included. You're in on it, right? It involves you. So that's basically that. All right, so I pretty much hit everything, man. Uh, 
I did have this lined up as well. You know, I'm going to close out on that. So I wanted to hit play on the rest of these videos, and that'll be it, man. And this is the backstory of this. Sell online and grow your business. This video, these videos are a backstory of it. And how people are looking at it that seen it. Slow down! I can't! What do you mean you can't? My legs just move this fast. It'll be super uncomfortable for me to move forward. Alright. What can I do you for? Picking up for Dusty Buns. You did not. I did? Dusty. Yeah, Dusty Buns. See that? Dusty. He did say Dusty. Oh, Here we go. Mushroom and peppers. Mushroom and peppers, Dustin. You yeah. like mushroom and it's peppers. It's good. It's good. Domino's apologizes for that. It must be the faulty breaker again. Yeah. Oh, the break. That's weird. I got a new ticket for a pizza. Is that weird, Paul? Look around. We're in a Domino's. <laughs> I didn't hear a print. The phone didn't ring. You didn't put it in. It just like appeared. Weird. <laughs> well, have a nice night. You so dusty bones. <laughs> Woo! Celebrity. What if somebody ordered a pizza with their mind? No way. Think about it. An order <laughs> seriously appears moments after the power goes out and the lights start flickering. You know what that means. It means they have a faulty breaker. And you it mean they pushing the mark of the beast and you in the end. And you're going to be destroyed if you take it. Is that weird, Paul? Look around. We're in a Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, they show you that they, they targeting everybody because they got different ethnicities in this, which proves that they showing you their desire, which is causing all, both small and great, rich and poor, according to Revelation 13 and 16, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or save, save he that had the mark. That's how he was able to do that, or the name of the beast or the number, his, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So yeah, that's basically it. That video actually didn't go into what I was talking about, is this one. And that's, that's pretty much it. chain has a new mind ordering app, an immersive experience designed to mimic Hawkins. In, in 1986, the location of the show Stranger Things. The app uses facial recognition and our movements to let customers order pizzas. If Domino's latest ordering trick seems out of Stranger Things, it's because it is. The and Arbor, Nick. Based pizza chain on Monday said that you can now order pizzas with your mind at least on the company's new mind ordering app in connection with the popular Netflix series Stranger Things. Users of the app are test subjects at the Hawkins National Lab in Hawkins, Inc. They can explore the lab, uncover Easter eggs and use telekinetic powers to gain control of certain objects and place a pizza order. In reality, the mind ordering app uses facial recognition and eye tracking technology to allow customers to use their powers to order pizzas by making certain facial expressions or head movements. Customers need to have a Domino's pizza profile with an easy order saved for the mind ordering to work. Is mind ordering real? At Domino's, it absolutely is, said Kate Trumbull, Domino's SVP of brand and product innovation. Customers who do not have a pizza profile can use the app for fun. The app is available on Google Play and Apple's App Store. Domino's is also rolling out ads for the new Mind Ordering app along with the Stranger Things characters Dustin, played by Gatton Maturato, and Lucas, played by Kenneth McLaughlin. Domino's has also created a Mind Ordering website. The company is also rolling out a 1980s era pizza box for medium and large pizzas for a limited time across the U.S. 
The fourth season of Stranger Things premieres on 27th May. A second volume premieres on 1st July. Stranger Things is set in the 1980s and revolves around a group of kids who uncover mysterious happenings at a nearby government-owned lab. The show also provides a healthy dose of ATS era nostalgia. Sure it is. It's a real app. He's all going hard body, man. You know? He 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 completely he this is this this complete high level witchcraft, man. And witchcraft goes into deceit. So it's a subliminal message in there every 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 on every level. Alright? So you see it right here, man. It said you probably complete the order by just putting your face on there, taking a selfie or something. You know? It's it's crazy, man. But hey, we knew this was good. This was gonna happen. So it's, it's the things that Esau being sought out because you know the eyes of them that see shall not be dumb, right? You a dummy, and the Lord ain't opened your eyes if you can't see this. You probably gonna take it. You 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 gonna be destroyed. So closing out, this is Psalms ten and three, and some other translations. It says. Is in the KJV. All right. It says, They shall be taken in the devices in the Darby, the Darby translation that they have imagined, for the wicked boasted of his soul's desire, and he blessed the covetous, he could timid Yahweh. So there it is. All right, so with that, call Halam Laya Hawa Ba Shmiyam Shai Wa Hawa Kaku Dash. Hey, it's, 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 it's that simple. So, close out here. Shalom. Shalom. Place the order. Now. Order up for Dustin. I don't have any money. Somebody ordered pizza with their money. Actually, now there is a way to order pizza with your money. If you tell them it's money to order, it's a way to order pizza with their money. Your money. So you Jakes, you've been warned. You Israelites have been warned, man. Don't take this crap. Shalom.